I got my Christmas tree. I already know how this is gonna go. Story of Moses, so in the book of Exodus. I'm just ready to have a grown woman room. I got my Christmas tree up. I'm going to link where I got it from. I literally got it from Walmart, but literally I had one last year that I got from Target and then I bought the spray paint stuff, like the fake snow, but they had this one at Walmart pre-lit. So literally all I had to do was plug it in and it comes with snow already on it. Now I will say this is a very messy tree. I just had to uh, vacuum and get some stuff off the floor, which I totally forgot. I still have to put the ornaments up, so I probably should have waited till after that. But I just wanted to show y'all my tree the tree is super beautiful and I really like the tone I like this one because the tree almost looks white as opposed to green I think last year last year when I had my tree when I put the fake snow spray on it I didn't put enough so the tree was still pretty much green so I feel like I like this one more because it's more white than green but the ornaments I got I'll try to link them below yeah, I got the barcode, so I'll try to link them below if you guys like them, but I thought these were interesting. Instead of the normal, like, balls, these had different shapes in there, so I thought this was cute. Y'all, look at this. How cute are these? These are literally, like, icicles. Well, they mimic icicles, but super cute. <laughs> Grace and peace, you guys. I'm in the process of rejoining my room. So finally, box spring is here. My new king size mattress is here. And then my rug, I got a new rug. And my rug is right there. So the only thing I'm waiting on now is the actual bed frame itself, which checked the delivery this morning and that says it'll be out for delivery on tomorrow. I'm gonna do a whole video on it. Of course the vlog will have like the behind the scenes stuff, but I wanna do like an actual like redo of the room. For real, for real, I might just include it in the vlog because individual videos like that don't do that well. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to finesse and like include it. I'm taking this shelf down. Yeah, so I'm really excited So I'm just gonna like repurpose a lot of the furniture that I have in here like obviously my dresser obviously the picture um, I am getting rid of this the vanity I Have no use for it, but then everything else I'm keeping I'm just ready to have a grown woman room Grown woman bed grown woman all of that. So I'm getting ready to um, get myself together because my other accent chairs came in the mail yesterday and it was raining yesterday and just so i'm gonna have to um rent a u-haul i'm just gonna rent like one of those what are they called just like those trucks with the open back i don't need like the whole tank what is it called pickup truck, pickup truck. i'm gonna just rent one of those those are those are kind of cheap okay you guys we got the accent chairs for the boxes and we get ready to take them down y'all look at all of these boxes that i have luckily i have the um u-haul for four hours so we'll get to take stuff to the trash dump hopefully um but look at the accent chairs Ooh they look so pretty. They are kind of big. Hey man. Um, so the idea is for them to go right here, but depending on how big they are, I don't know. We're gonna have to see. Let's get them out, let's get them up, let's get them assembled, and then I'll come back. You guys got the chairs up. Look how cute these are. These are by Wayfair. I don't know if you can tell, but they're velvet. Cream color, but they're velvet. I think these are super cute in here. Oh my God, so cute. I think I'm, for now, I probably will put the, my little plant right here. I'll probably put them in the middle. Put it in the middle. This is so cute, like a little chill, little area, you feel me? That's so cute. Grace and peace, you guys. We are getting ready to transform my bedroom. Up in here is like an olivey green. That's gonna be the accent color. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of these little, these little tassels on the end. So we're gonna slide this one back a little bit and then we're gonna get started on the bed frame. Hey, but did I tell you to get off the rug? <laughs> I love you. 
Here goes the new bed frame. Woohoo! All right, you guys, so far, cut down the exposure a little bit, good gracious. So far, this is the bed frame. I went ahead and took the shelf down and the mirror just so I can get a better idea of what we're doing up in here. Box spring is down. Bed frame is up finally. We would have been done if it weren't for me. I'm gonna figure this out in a minute because this kind of don't look right, but it looks beautiful so far. So now we're getting ready to put up the mattress. The mattress is from Lul. Like on camera, it does not look that big. This is the little rug I got. Now I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't know. <sighs> I have a strong feeling. I got a feeling I wanna turn it. But I'm gonna wait because I don't know. I just wanna get like the most out of the rug and I low key feel like it might look better. Um, The only downfall I will say with this whole process so far is I don't know if y'all could tell. I can't zoom on this thing. Yeah, I can't zoom on it, but there is a spot right there. And it looks like a little stain. I don't know if we put it on there because of the boxes have dirt on it and stuff like from delivery. Um, Hold on. Yeah, I don't know if we put it on there or came like that. So just be mindful if you're ordering like white um, furniture, you have that possibility of getting stains on it. So again, I don't know where this thing came from. I'm gonna try to use, I'm gonna just start off with like maybe like a, a white wash rag and some water just to see if I can like wipe it off. But now that the bed is up here, I'm loving it so far. So I'm super happy I did not purchase a nightstand yet because I'm gonna be honest with you, as big as this bed is, I just feel like a nice stand right there is just going to clutter the space. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know. But anyway, so the mattress I went with is a king size Lowell Original Premium. I was gonna do the hybrid, but they had a sale on this one. So this one is basically like a better version of the one I had, and I'm super excited. Um, there is a little bit of a dip right here, so I'm hoping as this continues to inflate, hopefully most of this gap will be covered up. But once I get my, you know, covers and comforter and all of that stuff on there to be good. So yeah, but so far so good. So the only thing right now that I have coming in is I have some curtains coming in. We're gonna put those up. Those won't be here till another couple days. They won't be here for another couple of days. Um, And then I got some really, really, really beautiful. I got a comp, y'all. I got me a comforter. Well, it's a duvet. And then I've got the duvet insert. So it's gonna be olive green. And then it'll have the duvet insert. So the insert will make it really puffy. I already know them hotel like beds, certain ones. It'll make it really puffy. And then I'll have like a throw, we'll add pillows. I already have the shams to come with it. And it's gonna be really dope. Grace and peace. What is up everybody? So I told y'all I was gonna give y'all behind the scenes of my bed transformation. So I already know how this is gonna go. The actual clips of me doing my room, it's just gonna be included in the vlog because I'm not even gonna stress myself out. I'm just not. I already know how this is gonna roll. So I am getting ready to give me a washcloth of some kind. I'm hoping I still have some white ones available. Ugh. But yeah, I'm getting ready to see what this stupid little stain is on the thing. I'm gonna just try it with water first so that way it dries faster and I can just pinpoint and kind of see What's what? Now that my bed is up, the only thing left now to really do is figure out what I'm gonna do with my old bed. My old bed and bed frame is literally just chilling in the kitchen. I hate to get on the bed, but I'm just trying to see if I can get this. Do y'all see this little stain right here? What in the world? Let's see if we can dab it off. Now obviously it don't look like it cause now that spot is a little damp but I don't wanna do too much wiping on it because I'm scared. So yeah, I've been designing the my room and stuff using Canva, of course. At this point, Canva, sponsor your girl. At this point, you know what I'm saying? I paid a monthly $12.99, you know, I use it up. Um, so now at this point, I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do in terms of like decorating. Um, but I think the hardest part is done. Getting the bed together is done. So now my apartment is just like a catastrophe. <laughs> So I just have to figure that portion out. But other than that, I think I've done a lot. So we're gonna take a quick break. Um, and then at some point we need to get the boxes broken down and take those to the dump ASAP because let's not forget. They close at seven. They close at seven and we have some on the patio. So it's not that many. It's literally like four big boxes and one of them is kind of skinny but tall. So as long as we can break them down, fold them up, we're good. What is up you guys? Whew. Not gonna show y'all just yet, but just want to give a disclaimer. I bought some um I bought some bed sheets. They're not the original ones that I wanted in here, but I recognize the holidays are coming up and my joints are not gonna be here when I need them to be. So they're actually not gonna be here until like next week. Clearly, this is the bed I'm working with now, so I had to get something to sleep on until then. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. So far, this is what it looks like. It's a little 
crazy craze right now but i got some stuff over there i need to pick up um but i'm gonna sit you guys up real quick and i'm gonna put I'm trying to get a better view hold on i'm gonna put the sheets on the bed so i'll leave the ones i got i literally just got a black uh comforter don't know why i chose black but honestly black is just different than what i've ever had so my actual bed sheets are going to be olive so i'm excited about that but i got some sheets these are the jersey sheets and like i said i'll um i'll link them down below but these are the jersey sheets and i love the jersey sheets from target because they're so soft you guys like absolutely incredibly soft and i was trying to get it to kind of play off of my new rug so i got an olive green color which i feel like is going to work out with my actual covers that's coming from amazon the sheets i got from them are white but those are jersey as well so i'm gonna put these on the bed real quick <laughs> are quite expensive i think this is a little under 80 bucks but i love these it's by casa luna and they're super chunky i like the really uh chunky ones that's like a little accent piece and again i got this for my actual bed set that's coming so but i'm gonna throw it on there now just because i'm pressed to have it all come together that's the only thing about trying to complete like a whole project where you have to wait things have to come in the mail stuff like that so that's what this is but look how chunky this is like oh my goodness definitely worth it decorate it how you want some people have had it like draped over the bed like long ways i might just do it like that for now i want to be able to tuck this in i won't be able to though because my box spring fits and when i say perfectly up in that joint i mean perfectly so i really won't have because i wanted to tuck it y'all see what i mean i wanted to like tuck it all the way around but i literally have like there's like no space and then i bought this from target like years ago i think maybe probably like since 2020 i bought this joint and it kind of matches it's the same kind of like knitted material so i kind of just got this on the floor like in front of the bed like a little accent piece super cute i gotta switch out some of these older pillowcases this pillowcase is humongous oh my goodness Luckily, I have a bunch of pillows, so I don't even know what to do with myself up in this bed, y'all. I am beat. Let's see what I can do with all right you guys so this is what we're looking like so far this is just with repurposing like some furniture and stuff so like these pictures at the top were on the shelf that i had but clearly those aren't going to work because they're too small so i'm going to need something else up there nothing too much i'm thinking about something more on like the rectangular side i wanted to keep avery's little corner the same i didn't want to change up too much for her she you know how dogs do i don't need her looking crazy feeling confused so i left there in her little area where she sleeps the same um and then also i brought my bench from outside this actually used to be in my room but i brought it back in so yeah want a grown woman room like i don't know how that sounds but i know what i mean when i say that like i want a grown woman room and i'm just tired of like walking in my room and i just feel like i don't know i just feel like my room is like childish <laughs> i don't know y'all just don't mind me but i have to post something sponsored so let me do that and then i will come back and talk to you guys because i need to i think i honestly needed to get that out an hour ago but i'm still making good timing because it's not even seven o'clock so we're good good morning i am getting dressed for the gym i'm gonna go with i don't know about this plant this plan to win is in the way right now i don't know anyway i'm going with this number i don't really wear these bras without a shirt anymore so i'm going to put a shirt on telling you with this colder weather these compression shirts are everything like i'll wear these joints my regular day that's how com one that's how comfortable they are and two that's what i'll be needing in this cold but grace and peace and good morning everybody praying all is well with all of you as i said i'm getting ready for this good gym my rest last night was probably a six out of ten um one i was just trying to get used to the new mattress two my i, I had a weird dream last night oh also i went to the bookstore yesterday and i got more books so i was gonna start the series it ends with us and then i already got the it starts with us i believe that's the next book from this one and then there's one after that or something like that but i read the silent patient i think i was showing you guys this but there's this other arthur 
in the bookstore that they were telling me about called B.A. Paris. And that she's really good for like psychological thrillers or something like that. So this is going to be my next read. It's called Behind Closed Doors. I have yet to be able to dive into it. Just because life, work, <laughs> I don't have, you know, you have to put aside time to like actually read. So, and plus the fact I've been really into the word of God. So, yeah, I haven't been fighting my urge with that. Like when I want to read the word of God, that's when I read like... Regardless if I want to read something else, I read that. Um, yeah, so I was reading the story of Moses. So in the book of Exodus, reading the story of Moses, I am now, I'm backtracking. So now I'm in Genesis um, chapter 20. So I've just been kind of going through the lineage of like, um, so like Noah and then like his sons and then his sons, sons and then his sons and like, I'm all the way down to like where Lot's wife turns to a pillar of salt, like when God was destroying the um, the country that they were in at the time, which I believe was I believe this was Saddam and Gomorrah. Yeah, Saddam and Gomorrah. So after that, now I'm where again. Well, if y'all read the word, you'll know. So I'm at the part where Lot's daughters, so like their fiance, got caught up in the in the in the in the destruction of Saddam and Gomorrah because they took it as a joke. So I'm at the part where now they don't have their man no more <laughs> so it's just lot and his uh daughters and not to spoil it for anybody but yeah the bible the bible got some stories man like you think people out in america now got some crazy stories nah nah crazy stuff been happening